Kaiser, this is the young woman who is currently 24 years old. She is, I think she was born and raised in Wisconsin. She has been sentenced for to 11 years in prison for killing the man who allegedly sex trafficked, sex trafficked her when she was a teen. Mm -hmm. um, and I think she was 17 at the time and he was 34. Um, she ended up killing her, I think it was June 2018. Mm -hmm. She pled guilty in May, so she's now going to be going to prison for 11 years. Wow. And I think the judge made a statement that, you know, you can't take the law into your own hands. Mm -hmm. I feel like there needs to be exceptions to things yeah. like this. Like when somebody has been abused or sex trafficked or whatever the case may be, and mm -hmm. they take things into their own hands, there has to be some type of leniency. Because we can't sit down here and act like the law and the government makes great decisions even 50 percent of the time we can't mm -hmm. say that it's like because a lot of the time the justice system fails people it just fails this it fails a lot of people mm -hmm. time and time and time again it's an extremely flawed system right. so for him to say that oh you have to rely on the law most of the times when you call the police Oh, we can't come and do anything for you until something happens. Oh, my husband is stalking me. He's threatening to murder me. Oh, we can't do anything until physical harm has been happening. Oh, you want a restraining order? Well, here's a piece of paper, but we're not going to give you 24-hour security. It's nothing but a piece of paper. If he violates that, he goes to jail. So it has to be violated in order for it to really be enforced. Like, it's all these things. There's no, like, serious preventative measures. So I feel like it's wrong. For the judge to say, oh, she needs 11 years because she murdered a man who mm -hmm. abused her. I feel like mm -hmm. if anything, maybe give her a year of probation mm -hmm. or two years in jail. But 11 years to make a statement mm -hmm. when things are in chaos anyway. Yeah. And, and also, he was, he was the adult. He was 34 years old yeah. at the time. Um, well, at the time that she, she killed him, right? Mm -hmm. But she was 16 when she went on to a site i didn't even know there was a site like that what site a, a prostitution site because she needed to get money for food for her siblings so oh, i don't know where her man. parents were and how calm that was the case and so she went on the site i guess he answered and so that's how this um, came about came about right um most likely didn't know so, any better I mean, she was only 16. Why would you go she's to only 16. Like she that is you didn't know a minor. Yeah, she's a minor. He's 34. You usually have women on the side, with girls on the side, who are not women yet. She was only 16. She's not even an adult. Yeah. So right there, he was wrong. And they said that this is a guy who, um, he had, I want to see if he has been convicted... He had been already under investigation by the Kenosha Police Department for sexual conduct with underage girls as young as 12. So he's someone who's known to the system. And wow. so I think that the judge should have taken all of that into consideration. And she should have put her in rehab. She can actually serve her sentence out in a rehab because I'm sure a lot of trauma has occurred with her. The fact that she went to this extreme to actually unalive him, and that's where she should have served her sentence, and not eleven years. But that's I what we were talking about the justice maybe system. Maybe two, three years in some rehab, two years in a rehab, and maybe a year, you know, working with young women who, you know, go onto a site like this, and maybe you can like infiltrate that to say, hey, this is not the way. These are other things you can do. Like she could be doing something like that instead of putting her in jail when um you know this guy did traffic her in yeah. a sense because you know he was an adult he was a whole ad adult and she was a minor so yeah but yeah. once again this is just another example how the system continues to fail yeah. society it yeah. continues to fail people yeah. people who pay taxes they probably pay your salary yeah. Like, this is just ridiculous, and I feel yeah. like it's just so wrong on so many levels, and I, yeah. I don't think it's fair to her, and, you know, I do hope that somehow, some way, she's able to get out early for offer on good behavior, mm -hmm. but I do think it's very unfortunate that this judge thought that this, that look, 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 at, look at 
the demon. Look at the yeah. demon. And then where is she? This is her. That's African American woman. Anyway. Caucasian man. Yeah. So I wonder if that has something to do with it too. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. I mean, because it's in the system. You know. That uh, he was a predator. That, that discrimination. Yeah, it's, you it's know, very in the system. And, um, yeah, but I, I don't think it's fair. It's also like that lady, remember the woman whose husband was sexually abusing the children in her daycare? Yes. And she goes to the um, she hotel. She didn't even kill him. She just tried to castrate she, she, him. Yeah, she, well, no, she shot him in the leg. Because I, I she think, shot him in the penis. No, she did not. She did not shoot him in the penis. She shot him in the leg. I heard because that. Because so he doesn't run out of the hotel. So she shot him in the leg and I she's in sword. jail, you know, for four years, I think they gave her for that, you know. Um, but even what she did was less than what this woman did and they still gave I'm her saying. a lot of time. Or, I, you know, if so, the wickedness in the system yeah. is too much for me, Seth, um, it's not fair and it's not right. It's not fair at all, really. And um, also, you know, maybe some racism there and maybe some, oh, gen sure. some gender bias too. Yeah. You know, if this was a man and this had happened to and he had killed this man, will he be given the same sentence? Yeah. Maybe not. It's all these things. Because the, the judge also was a man. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's just very unfortunate. I hope that they appeal it. I really do. I hope they appeal it and um, try to get that reduced, try to get another trial or something. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys on the next video. You know. We wish you luck. We really we do. do. Really wish and you our prayers well, and well, thoughts are Crystal, with you. Yes, yeah. definitely we'll be saying a prayer for you. Yeah. Yeah.